Hi, welcome to our lesson about volume. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space that something takes up. Solids, liquids, and gases all take up space. Solids have a definite size and space, like these strawberries. These strawberries take up space and they also have a definite shape. If you drop them, they stay in their shape. Let's put them in a cup. The strawberries stay in their strawberry shape. That's how we know they're solid. Gases and liquids also take up space. They usually take the shape of the container they're in. Let's look at a gas. One gas that is common is air. Air is all around you. I've put some air into this bag. You can see that the air takes the shape of the bag. We know there's air in there because if we open the bag, we can hear it leave. Now let's learn about liquid volume. As you can see, there are three glasses. Before we go to the glasses, we're going to learn how to measure. What does it mean to measure? When you measure something, you find out the volume of a liquid, a solid, or a gas. Today, we're going to use a measuring cup to measure the volume of our liquid. We could also use a bigger measuring cup for bigger measurements. But today, we're just going to use our measuring cup. Before we start measuring, take a look at the glasses. Which glass has the liquid that takes up the most volume? Is it the big glass, the small glass, or the tall glass? One way to find a volume that we've just talked about is using a measuring cup. This measuring cup can hold 100 milliliters of liquid. Now let's measure our liquid and see which glass has the liquid with the most volume. I'm going to pour this liquid into the measuring cup. Can you see the liquid going from the big glass to the measuring cup? Now it's the shape of the measuring cup. We can see that the liquid goes all the way to the top of the measuring cup. That means in that glass, there is 100 milliliters. I'm going to pour this measuring cup back in the glass so we can measure the next one. Let's try the small glass now. We can see that this glass also has 100 milliliters in it. That's the same amount as the big glass. Is that something you guessed? Finally, let's try the tall glass. This last glass also has 100 milliliters of liquid. All three glasses have 100 milliliters of liquid. So why do they look so different? This is because liquids take the shape of their container. When you have a glass, like this big glass, that's tall and wide, the liquid takes the shape of the container. In each cup, the liquid is taking the shape of the container. To review, there are three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. All have volume. A solid has a specific space and volume. A liquid takes up space and takes the, vol the shape of the container and a gas takes its space and also takes the shape of the container. 
That's all for this lesson. Thanks for learning.